is Asha here. These are the things you'll need to make a fire breathing dragon for Chinese New Year. I've used white card, but if you have an old toilet roll or even a paper cup that you can cut the bottom out of, that works just as well. If you have some tissue paper, red and orange colored, then that works great for the flames. But if not, like me, you can use kitchen towel and paint it using watercolor paints. You'll need glue and scissors and sellotape too. Here we're making colored paper using watercolor paints with red, orange and yellow so that they'll be the flames of the fire breathing dragon. When you finish painting the sheets, leave them to dry. Now if you're using card like us, then you're going to have to roll it up and tape it at the end. You can make a long one like this one, or you can make two shorter ones by cutting it in half. If you're using toilet roll or a paper cup, you don't need to do this stage, but you could color your toilet roll or paper cup to make it look like, more like a dragon. Now the paper is fully dried, you can take the scissors and cut out some strips. These will be the flames. Now you'll need your glue stick and go inside the tube at one end, going all the way around, putting lots of glue on. Now you can take the strips of paper and stick them inside the tube on top of the glue. Now you can decorate your dragon any way you like, using colored pens or paints, drawing on some eyes, nose. My daughter wanted to make some scales to go on the top of his head. So she made a zigzag shape out of some of the colored paper that we made earlier. She's using sellotape to stick the scales onto the tube. And here is the finished dragon. All you need to do now is to blow and you've become a flame breathing dragon.